finally the last two, they're on how we shift our attention from the time-bound ego to the timeless spirit. We've been talking in this course a lot about the nature of time. What is time? And how our personality, our ego dwells in time, but our spirit is in the timeless, eternal. So here's the word on time. On many an idle day have I grieved over lost time. never lost, my Lord. You have taken every moment of my life in your own hands. Hidden in the heart of things, you are nourishing seeds into sprouts. Hidden in the heart of things, you are nourishing seeds into sprouts, buds into blossoms. You are ripening flowers into fruitfulness. I was tired. I was tired, I was exhausted, sleeping on my idle bed. I imagined all work had stopped. In the morning, I woke up and found my garden full with wonders and flowers. Time is endless in your hands, my Lord. Time is endless in your hands, my Lord. There is none to count your minutes. Days and nights pass. Days and nights pass and ages bloom and fade like flowers. You know how to wait. Your centuries follow each other, perfecting a small wild flower. Your centuries follow each other, perfecting a small wild flower. And we, we have no time to lose. And having no time, we scramble for our chances. Oh, we are so poor to be late. We are so poor to be late. And so it is, the time goes by, while I give it to every querulous man who claims it. And your altar is empty of all offerings to the last. At the end of the day, I hasten. At the end of the day, I hasten in fear that your gate might be shut. I run, hasten and scramble that your gate will be shut. But then I find there is time. There is time. And Marie Galoon. <laughs>